Good morning. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. I, I am pleased to have this opportunity to thank you all for what you, you do to make Special Olympics work all over the, all over the, 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 the world. Like so many of my friends, I can hardly remember a time when I was not doing something for a Special Olympics. Because of Special Olympics, I can truly say that I am an equestrian, gold defending, homer hitting, dead eye putting, <laughs> three point shooting power forward, woo! <laughs> Though not at all at the same time. I have more. It is prob it, it, it is probably more important that that I can truly say that that in part of of Special Olympics I am a voice in my community. Special Olympics is it is often sport at, at its best. It builds in us the confidence to take to take on new challenges. It also te teaches us not to be afraid of failure. We're winning and little and losing success and failure are the stuff of a life fully lived without that confidence of past victories and the knowledge that life goes on even after its worst d d d d d defeats. I might have been afraid to become a public spokesman for jobs pr programs in this year's budget d debate in Virginia. But, 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 but in that com capacity, I testified in budget hearings and later appeared on a television special on the, the debate o o over taxes and services in our communities. This summer, my brother and I starred in a get out the vote public service announcement that is shown on Annette TV and radio stations all across the country. Of course, he had to be watching the special on the Ronco Pocket Fisherman at, <laughs> at 4 o'clock a.m. on Sunday morning to see us. Even so, I feel like a star. More, more, more. Finally, I want to mention the importance of the partnership between Special Olympics and schools. When that partnership is working right, it provides moments of great power. I attended Gentilly High School and rooted for great state championship teams there. I also dreamed of being fully included in that spirit of success. In my last year at Chantilly, 
the athletic director finally decided that it would be appropriate to include Special Olympics in its award ceremonies. In its, in its athletic cer award ceremonies. He had been reluctant to do that because he feared that the other athletes might not accept us as our peers. One of the great moments in my life was the standing of ovation that, that we received from, from other athletes at Chantilly. As we were awarded our, our Letterman jacket, More, more. The reason why I care so much about the jobs programs and athletes in the schools and the sense of accomplishment. The Special Olympics gives us as competitors is that these are the things we, 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 we dream about. We dream of achievement. We dream of meaningful work. We dream of homes and families of our own. We dream of being respected in our c c communities where we, where we live. In short, we dream what, what everyone in the world dreams. The chance to give voice to those dreams. The voice w w was mine, yes. But the, b but, the, but the dreams belong to all of us. On behalf of every special Olympian in every corner of the world, I want to thank you from the bottom of our hearts for helping to make some of these dreams come true.